Japanese politics, a realm where ancient traditions meet modern governance, is nothing short of intriguing. It's a cocktail of history, power, diplomacy, and societal challenges, all stirred up in the land of the rising sun. Our journey begins with a look at Japan's constitutional framework, a post-World War II document that sets the stage for the nation's pacifist principles and the role of the emperor. We'll then navigate through the structure of the government, the major political parties, and the electoral process. We'll also delve into the behind the scenes of policy making, economic initiatives, and foreign relations. Our exploration wouldn't be complete without examining Japan's defense and security policies, the pressing social issues, and the current political challenges. So buckle up as we embark on this enlightening journey into the heart of Japan's political sphere. The story of Japan's politics cannot be told without understanding its constitution. Dive with me into the post-World War II era, where Japan's modern constitution was born, a document that fundamentally shifted the nation's political landscape. Known as the post-war constitution, or the Constitution of Japan, this document came into effect on May 3rd, 1947. But what makes it so unique? Well, it's all about peace. The Constitution embraces pacifist principles, renouncing war as a means to settle international disputes. It's a firm commitment to peace, etched into the very fabric of Japan's political identity. Now let's turn our attention to the role of the emperor. Once a divine figure wielding absolute power, the emperor's role has dramatically changed. Under the current constitution, the emperor is the symbol of the state and of the unity of the people, with no powers related to government. It's a purely ceremonial role, akin to a living national emblem. This constitution, with its pacifist ideals and ceremonial monarchy, has been the bedrock upon which modern Japan has built its political system. It's the framework that guides the nation, shaping its domestic and international policies. However, it's not without controversy and debate. Revisions, particularly to the pacifist clauses, have been a topic of heated discussion. But that's a story for another day. This constitutional setup has shaped Japan's political landscape in fascinating ways. The government structure of Japan is a well-oiled machine with distinct roles for its components. Let's break this down. At the top of the power pyramid, we have the prime minister, who is in essence the head honcho, the big cheese. The Prime Minister is the executive head of the government and is responsible for the administration of the state. Now, they don't get there by chance. Nope, they're elected by both houses of the Diet, Japan's bicameral parliament, which brings us to our next pivotal component, the Diet. The Diet is composed of two houses, the House of Representatives and the House of Councillors. These guys are the legislative body, tasked with passing laws, approving budgets, and even ratifying treaties. The House of Representatives, in particular, holds the power to dismiss the Prime Minister through a vote of no confidence. Talk about keeping things in check. Then we have the judiciary system. These guys are the referees, ensuring everyone's playing by the rules. They interpret the constitution and laws to ensure everything's on the up and up. What's unique about Japan's judiciary is that it's completely separate from the executive and legislative branches, maintaining its independence and impartiality. So there you have it, the power trio of Japan's government, the prime minister, the diet, and the judiciary. This structure forms the backbone of Japan's political system. The heart of Japanese politics beats within its political parties. In the vibrant political landscape of Japan, there are numerous parties, each with its own unique set of beliefs and principles. However, 
two parties stand out due to their significant influence, the Liberal Democratic Party, or LDP, and the Constitutional Democratic Party of Japan, or CDPJ. The LDP, founded in 1955, has been the dominant force in Japanese politics for the better part of the last seven decades. This center-right party is known for its pro-business stance and has been instrumental in shaping Japan's post-war economic miracle. The LDP's long-standing dominance can be attributed to its ability to adapt to changing times and its broad coalition that spans various ideologies. It's not uncommon to find LDP members with differing views coexisting under the same political umbrella. This unique characteristic has enabled the LDP to maintain a firm grip on power. On the other side of the spectrum, we have the CDPJ. Established in 2017, the CDPJ is a center-left party that advocates for social justice and progressive policies. Despite being relatively young, the CDPJ has emerged as a formidable opposition force, challenging the LDP's dominance. In the grand scheme of Japanese politics, these parties play pivotal roles in shaping the country's policies and determining its direction. They are the vessels through which the will of the people is expressed and transformed into actionable policies. Despite many shifts, the LDP has remained a political heavyweight in Japan. Japanese elections are a blend of tradition and innovation. Now, let's dive into the unique electoral system of Japan. It's a mixed bag, combining elements of both proportional representation and single seat constituencies. In other words, voters cast not one, but two ballots in the elections one for their local candidate and another for a political party. This system ensures a balance of power and a fair representation of different voices in the government. Now, the Japanese parliament, or the Diet, is bicameral, made up of two houses, the House of Representatives and the House of Councillors. The House of Representatives, often considered the more powerful of the two, is primarily responsible for drafting legislation. The House of Councillors, on the other hand, reviews and revises bills passed by the lower house. Elections for the House of Representatives take place every four years, unless it's dissolved earlier. On the other hand, elections for the House of Councillors happen every three years for half the seats. This staggering ensures continuity and stability in the Japanese government. Additionally, an interesting facet of Japanese elections is the mandatory age for voting. Unlike many countries where the voting age is 18, in Japan, you need to be at least 20 years old to vote. So there you have it. The Japanese electoral system, with its unique blend of tradition and innovation, is a fascinating study in balance and fairness. These elections shape the future of politics in Japan. At the heart of any political system is policy making. And in Japan, it's an intricate dance of tradition, modern governance, and a dash of bureaucratic influence. Policy making here isn't just about politicians making decisions. It's a complex process that involves a myriad of actors, each playing their part in shaping the nation's political and social landscape. First off, let's talk about bureaucrats. Yes, you heard it right. In Japan, bureaucrats aren't just paper pushers. They're influential figures who play a significant role in policy making. From drafting bills to implementing policies, these unsung heroes of the Japanese political system have their hands in every pie. They're often career civil servants, experts in their respective fields, bringing a wealth of knowledge and expertise to the table. But it's not just the bureaucrats who have a say. Advisory councils, composed of experts from various fields, also play a pivotal role. These 
councils are established by the government to provide expert advice on a wide range of issues. From economic policies to social welfare, these councils ensure that policy decisions are informed, well-rounded, and beneficial to the public. So, in essence, policymaking in Japan is a collective effort. It's a system that values expertise, encourages collaboration, and ultimately aims to create policies that serve the best interests of, of the nation and its people. Bureaucrats and advisory councils hold considerable sway in shaping Japan's political future. So next time you think about Japanese politics, remember the silent powerhouses working behind the scenes. Economic policies in Japan are a testament to its resilience and innovation. After the economic bubble burst in the 90s, Japan had to rethink its strategies. Enter Abenomics, a set of measures introduced by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Abenomics is a cocktail of three arrows. Aggressive monetary easing, flexible fiscal policy, and structural reforms. The aim? Revitalize the economy and end decades-long deflation. But it wasn't just about fixing a broken economy. Abenomics also sought to address pressing social issues, like the shrinking workforce. By promoting women in the workforce and encouraging foreign workers, Japan was looking to stabilize its declining population. In recent years, the focus has shifted towards Society 5.0, a super smart society where technology and humans coexist harmoniously. It's an ambitious plan, but if there's one thing we've learned about Japan, it's never to underestimate its capacity for reinvention. These economic strategies have played pivotal roles in steering Japan's economic course. Japan's foreign relations are a complex web of diplomacy, strategy, and history. At the heart of it all is the delicate balancing act between tradition and modernity, just like a well-performed kabuki play. Japan's relationship with the United States, for instance, is a dance of cooperation and competition. The two nations share a deep, multifaceted alliance, founded on shared democratic values, economic cooperation, and mutual security commitments. Then there's China, an economic powerhouse, and a geopolitical rival. The relationship here is a bit like a game of Go, strategic and intricate. While trade and tourism link the two nations, territorial disputes and historical grievances often stir the waters. And let's not forget the neighborhood. Japan's relations with East Asian countries are like a lively sumo match, filled with power plays and tactical maneuvers all under the watchful eyes of tradition and protocol. Japan's foreign relations continue to shape its political and economic landscape. Japan's defense and security policies are a delicate balancing act. Let's delve into this fascinating dance of diplomacy and survival. In a world where military might often defines a nation's global standing, Japan stands out with its Self-Defense Forces, or SDF. Created in the aftermath of World War II, the SDF is designed to protect Japan from external threats, but without the ability to wage war. An interesting paradox, don't you think? The SDF consists of the ground, maritime, and air of defense forces. However, they operate within the constraints of Japan's constitution, particularly Article 9, which renounces war as a means to settle international disputes. Yet the world is not a utopia, and threats do exist. So, Japan also relies heavily on its security alliance with the United States for its defense. But it's not all black and white. There's an ongoing debate about constitutional revisions, which would allow Japan to play a more assertive role in regional security. This is a polarizing issue stirring a pot of historical memories and regional worries. On one hand, there are those who argue that Japan needs to adapt 
to the changing geopolitical landscape. On the other hand, there are those who fear that altering the constitution could lead Japan down a path of militarism, a path it once walked and swore never to tread again. This delicate balance of defense and security policies is a cornerstone of Japan's political environment. It's a dance that continues, a dance that shapes the rhythm of Japan's politics. Social issues in Japan are a mirror to its evolving society. Let's take a look at a few key areas. First, the aging population. With one of the highest life expectancies in the world, Japan is grappling with the challenge of supporting an increasingly elderly population. This demographic shift is causing ripples throughout society, from healthcare to the economy. Next, gender equality. Progress is being made, but Japan still ranks low in global gender equality indices. The government has introduced policies to promote women's participation in the workforce and leadership positions, yet societal norms and expectations continue to present hurdles. Finally, immigration. Traditionally a homogeneous society, Japan is slowly opening its doors to foreign workers to counter labor shortages. However, this shift is not without controversy, as it raises questions about cultural preservation and social integration. These social issues continue to influence Japan's political dynamics. Like any political system, Japan faces its share of challenges. Political scandals, for instance, have often rocked the boat, with high-profile figures caught in controversies that have led to resignations and shaken public trust. This breeds a sense of disillusionment contributing to voter apathy, another significant issue. Many Japanese citizens, particularly the younger generation, feel disconnected from politics, leading to low voter turnout in elections. But it's not all gloom and doom. Efforts are being made to rekindle political engagement, especially among the youth. The rise of social media has allowed politicians to reach out directly to younger audiences, and grassroots movements are encouraging civic participation. Additionally, new political parties are emerging with fresh ideas, hoping to disrupt the status quo and breathe new life into the political scene. These challenges continue to shape the future of Japan's political landscape. Japanese politics is a fascinating interplay of tradition, modernity, and constant evolution. We've journeyed from the constitutional framework through the structure of government, political parties, elections, and policymaking. We've explored economic policies, foreign relations, defense, and security, and grappled with social issues and political challenges. Each of these elements paints a picture of a dynamic, complex, and resilient political landscape. Understanding it gives us a deeper insight into one of the world's leading economies and its unique political dynamics. 